Hello everyone, I'm Naval Yamul. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Data Master and welcome to the new playlist called Databricks for Everyone. In my previous videos, I have explained how to set up an Express account and how to get started with a community edition. So for beginners, you can start with community edition. In this video, I'll be talking about our Databricks repositories. Like we are going to create a Git folder and we are going to push all our notebooks all our folders to our git repository so let us head on to my screen so there are a couple of things here we have to set up so first is you need a git account assuming that everyone has their own github account it might be your github or it might be your azure devops in my case i am using a github here okay so let me yeah this is my github account now so there are a couple of things you need to remember First is you need to create a repository in your GitHub account, a new repository. Or if you already have an existing repository, you can use that as well. So I'll be creating a new repository first. This is the first step. Create a repository and then create a Git folder in your Databricks repositories. Once you create a Git folder, the second step is we need to do the configuration from your Databricks repositories to the your github account okay so first step is to create a repository attach it to your git folder in the databricks second step is to do the configuration from your databricks to the github so these are the two steps very simple so let me start i'll be pushing all my notebooks all my sql queries into this repository and i'll make i'll be making it as a public so i'll be creating a new repository by just hitting on to this and I'll give a new name for the repository called Data Master YouTube. I'll say YouTube and I can give a description. So this is for my YouTube channel and so on. I'll make this as public and I'll use a readme file in this. So this is a best practice to figure out whether the file is mentioned or not. And I'll set this as a main branch as a default branch. Okay. I'll just hit on create a repository. That's it. Only few clicks and your repository is set up. Now I'm going to copy the URL of this Git. You can copy it from here at the top or you can just go to this code and here you get a your HTTP link or a URL. So I'll copy from here. I'll copy it to the clipboard. Now that's all what we have to do it on the Git side. Understand there are few things on the Git side, few things on the Databricks side. So now that's all from the Git side. Now I'll go back to my Databricks workspace. In the Databricks workspace, if you can see here, we have a repository. So you can go and create a new folder here in the repository section. But now Databricks recommends you to create a Git folder within the same user account. So now you can see in the user, I have, I am one of the user here. I'll be creating a Git folder within the same user section. So you don't need to create a new repository folder there. It was creating a confusion back then, but now it's simple. So I'll be in my user section and you can see if you click on create, there is one uh, option called Git folder. I'm going to hit on Git folder. And the moment you click on Git folder, it's asking you the Git repository URL. Just now we have copied it. I'll just try to paste it. And you can see by default, it's picking up the correct Git because of the URL, obviously. But there are so many other options you can create a git folder from your GitLab or from your Azure DevOps or your AWS code commit and so on. The procedure would be very similar. I am using a GitHub here and it's also showing you the Git repository name here. So just hit on create a Git folder and that's it. So a folder would be created on the Databricks side and here you can see there is a readme file. But remember, this is our first step where we created a Git folder uh, sorry, we created a repository in your GitHub account and a Git folder in the Databricks account. So this is the first step. Now we haven't created any configuration or we, in simple words, we haven't connected your GitHub account to the Databricks repositories. For example, let me go back now. Uh, suppose in our previous video, we have uh, created a full notebook called getting started with uh, Databricks. So I'll just drag and drop it here in my Databricks uh, Git folder called Data Master YouTube. 
uh, in this you can see get uh, getting started notebook is available i'll create a new folder i can create couple of folders there so i'll say that okay this is related to uh, for example spark okay so we'll be working on spark and then databricks and so on here i'll create couple of other notebooks inside this so i'll just create a new notebook and i would say and you will easily understand that you are inside a git folder by looking at this uh, branching icon now this is a main branch and by default we are in the git folder you can figure out that now i'll just say this is all about the data frame okay for example now i'll write a simple python scripts like creating a data frame like i'll use a spark dot create data frame and i'll say data and schema so i need to provide a data and schema we'll come back to this code later on so our focus is to work on the git now so i'll go to my uh, data master youtube repository and here we have a folder we have one notebook and we have one readme file also now if you ask me can we see all this in our repository no my dear we cannot the reason is okay you can see here i'll do a quick refresh here now you cannot see the details here why what is the reason so the reason is we haven't configured our github account to the databricks so we'll do that that is our second step now so to do that first we need to go to the settings from the users here go to settings and in the settings you should see a linked accounts section as a linked account in the linked accounts you should see a git integration and here it's saying git provider in my case it's a github you can choose your own git here and there are two ways how we can make a integration now how we can make an integration one is linking the git account by just few clicks there will be an app created from the databricks site that will allow you to access the git or you can go with your pad token so for pad token you have to go to your github account go to the settings then you can create a pad token from there and pass that pad token here that pad token depends on uh, whether you are giving a read permission write permission or reader write and so on and depending on that you can provide the token here now i'll just do a few clicks and i'll try to link my databricks account to the github but before i link okay before i link i would like to show you what happens if you are not linking it okay so i'll go to my workspace and this is my github folder i'll click on this main so once i click on this main branch it will give me a new window where it shows me all the changes it says that oh getting started is one of the new notebook and data frame is a folder in that folder a new file is added both are python file and a stands for there are some uh, new files got added here you can check the code you can check the raw file something like this and here you can even create a new branches like feature branches but i am just pushing it everything to the main branch and the commit message is required that is mandatory i would simply say that these are new files and i'll just click on new files click on commit and push the moment i click on commit and push here you are getting an error saying that the error pushing changes because your git credentials has not configured with a github so this is the error what you get it so you can do the git integration by just clicking on to this link if you click on it it will take you to the same page like linked accounts and then link the git account so i'll be using the first step simple depending on your use case you can change it to the second method called pad token okay i'll just click on the link and the moment you click on to the uh, link git account you will be redirecting to the github account i'll use my user id and password here let me do that i need a authentication i guess not sure oh cool i think it's done with few clicks only one or two clicks you can see my github account has been linked to the databricks but here is a small catch again so once the configuration is done you need to do couple of changes here for that you need to go to configure in the github so you need to redirect to the github so behind the scene there is an uh, databricks app that is getting created and here you have to select 
a particular repository so by default it will be all repositories and when you are trying to push it you definitely get an error so you have to select that particular repository so for that you need to come here say only a select repositories i have couple of repositories i'll choose my own uh, the new repository what we created it i guess it's a data master data master youtube cool that's it and i have other repositories i'll try to remove it so i have selected only one repository now i click on save okay so just make sure that your databricks is giving you a permission i mean this workspace is giving you the permission to read write whatever on this particular repository and the repository name is data master youtube you don't need to do any other changes uh, that's it you can cancel this you can go back to the linked accounts and just cross check your github account is linked uh, you can just check it once again whether you have configured this to a, a very specific repository what you are looking for that's it you are done now just go to your uh, workspace now a particular git folder i mean click on to this main branch and you should see the same thing i'll just click on a new files or maybe a commit or first commit and so on first commit and i'll just hit on commit and push that's it so within few seconds you should see a message called successful yeah it's committed now and push the changes to the main branch amazing so with few clicks you can push all your scripts to your git from the next sessions i'll keep on creating the folders and i'll be giving you this git link for you okay so i'll just cancel this now i need to verify that i'll open my github account i'll do a quick refresh and here you should see there is a new folder called spark and there is a, a new notebook called getting started notebook if i click on to this and you can see there are some python scripts and sql scripts which we have done in our previous videos sql script python script and so on i can go back i can check the spark notebook in that i have created a folder a notebook called data frame let me click on to this and you should see a python script cool spark dot create data frame and so on now i'll just minimize this i'll get inside a new git folder i'll get inside this spark and data frame now what i'll do i'll try to write a new script here saying data i'll just put it in the least form i'll say one comma for example novel and i'll say two comma for example raj and here i'll pass a schema this is a data frame schema i'll say the first column is an id it's an integer then a name it should be a string that's it so i'm not running it i just want to show you how the changes are also uh, impacted like how whatever the changes you made it on the git how we can push those changes to the git so now you can click on to this main in the notebook itself or you can go back to the git folder and click on to the main as well so once i click on it you can see it is showing you that oh that particular tape uh, particular notebook that is a data frame notebook got modified m stands for it's modified if you are deleting something you are adding something you are modifying it you can track each and every changes on the notebook side so this is our uh, modification modification on the data frame notebook okay i'll just click on commit and push and that's it so you should see these all changes in your main branch i am pushing you to the main branch but it's not recommended in real time we create a feature branches and then your devops team would merge it to the main branch so maybe in a later videos i'll show you how that entire ci cd is done and now you can see here uh, changes have been reflecting here uh, date data schema and everything is looking fine so this is how we can push the new files or we can also push the modified files you can delete the file you can delete the cell everything is tracked by using this databricks repositories a complete version control now i would like to do one more uh, change like what if i do the changes in the git how can i pull them in the databricks repositories i'm going to show you that suppose i want a message like someone is commenting me like i'll click on edit now and a second 
okay let me do some changes in the git uh, so i've just configured it to my github.dev so i'll just use a browser version of it so i'll just click on open with github with dev i'll click on to this it will take me to this uh, vs code like environment i'll start editing here i'll take a new markdown cell here i'll say that hey this is something related to creating a creating a spark data frame data frame and here i'm going to create a new uh, maybe a new code here uh, not new code let me do one thing i'll just create a new code here i'll say okay come on display the data frame so we haven't displayed it i'll just use a display so these are the changes what we have done it on the github now let me go back so let me write a commit message here and then push it i think it's done let me go back and let me do a quick refresh here yeah here we go you can see here so whatever the text uh, message we have written like creating a data frame a display so that has seen the changes in the github but you cannot see them in your databricks so let me go back uh, so this is in my databricks now and you can see there are only two cells here we did not add a display here and so on if i have done a quick refresh let me check what happens here yeah i have done a refresh but still there are no changes in your databricks account for that you need to pull that so you need to get a pull request to the databricks so to do that you can click on to this main branch again and here you should see a pull request yeah, i can see there's one pull request and you can click on to this pull request and it is giving you a message like pulling with a clear outputs in the updated notebook so are you sure you want to do it i'll just click on confirm here and here we go whatever the changes we have done it on the get browser you can see them in your databricks as well wow can you see that there's a markdown cell here and that is a display command here okay so i hope i have explained you how to push all your notebooks to your git and if there are some changes that are happening on the git side how to pull them to your databricks account we have seen it so a quick recap on this uh, video so we have created a new git folder and there are two steps majorly one is create a new repository create a git folder by using that uh, git repository url create a git folder in the databricks that is the first step second step is to integrate your databricks with your git there are a couple of ways to do it we have done it in a simple way we created an app behind the scene and then give a permission to access or read and write only that particular repository and once it's done we have created a folders and the notebooks we try to push them all to my github account and even i have done some changes on the github account and i have pulled them into my databricks account so as we progress i'll be keep on creating a folders and the notebooks in the same git folder you can access it later on and how we can import them in your databricks premium account or the express account i'll show you in a minute now so maybe i'll explain that so once you get a get url of mine like data master youtube so you can just click on to the uh, right click and you can provide the url you can see url oh not this uh, import okay click on import and i'll just click on uh, provide the url so here i'll be providing you my github url uh, you can just paste it here and all my git folder can be seen on your workspace as well okay so maybe i'll show them in the next video i hope you enjoyed this video guys uh, thank you for watching if you like the content uh, please support me subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and like the video thank you keep learning bye bye see you in the next video